Okay, so today we're going to talk about another Habit Trail, a Habitat for Hamsters or Mice. And this is the Habit Trail Home Blue Edition. This also comes in the Pink Edition, depending on what your favorites are. Here's the box that it comes in. As Habit Trail Habitats go, this one's going to be very easy to put together, and I'm going to walk you through it. Unlike the others, this has an exterior exercise wheel, and that wheel is 7.5 inches in diameter, so it's a pretty good size. This will be a great addition to your other Habit Trail habitats, and I recommend that you don't use it as a standalone, as it is only going to be 132.73 square inches of area. And again, here's a picture on the box showing the inspiration for the habitat design, which is the natural habitat of hamsters. We keep Robo Hamsters, and this is going to be part of our ultimate collection. Everything comes plastic wrapped, and these are all the components. Again, very simple to put together. The instructions come with it. They are image-based. There's not much text here. Here's the water bottle that we see on the entire OVO lineup. Not my favorite, but it works okay, and we'll go over that later too. There's an interesting little exercise cube here. Everything in this habitat is transparent, so you can look through and see your hamster. There are no opaque hiding areas. This is the food dish. So, this is the exercise wheel that goes on the end. Your hamster's not going to be able to hide except in the bedding that you put in there. So, we'll see how that goes. And there's the connection ring that you see on all the other Habit Trail habitats. So, I'm going to show how to work that. Again, that connection point right there is how it's held onto the unit. Here's the wheel, and I took it apart because remember, we want to lubricate this axle with olive oil. And there's a little, little tab there that you have to push in to release the wheel so you can pull it off and here's the connection ring notice this is make sure they're in the open position when you put them together and then when we turn it and line up those notches then you know it's in the clamped or closed position this is a very good connection system and remember that connection ring is all that's holding on that that uh, exercise wheel so you want to make sure to do that right just a quick overview of the instructions the side uh, clips already come installed in the base so that's a bonus, and all we have to do is put on the retractable cover here. And this is showing you the locking mechanism on either side. And it's pretty simple. Good to go there. You bring down the front. There's a locking mechanism on the front and the back. So that again, you can open it and access your pets from the front or the back. If you notice, the design is basically the same as all the other Habit Trail OVO round pods. So the only difference is that this one's transparent. The others have opaque white bottoms and this one has a transparent blue. And again, like I said before, it's available in pink. You wanna make sure and lock these securely. If you want it to be escape proof, like it says on the box, it's only as good as the people that are taking care of the pets and uh, they're gonna to need to remember to lock these things up. So there it is. And then of course we have the connection holes on either side. You can connect other habitats to this, and I recommend that you do. This, in my opinion, isn't adequate as a standalone, but it's a great start and it's a great add-on to something else that you might get from Habit Trail. Here's the water bottle holder. Again, it has a solid white bottom. It comes in two pieces, has the locking ring on it. If you want to get the water ball out, you just give it a twist. Some people I've noticed try to pull these straight out to get them off and are a little frustrated, but just give it a twist, it comes right out easily. You're going to remove that stainless steel cover there, fill it with water, give it some shakes to get the drips out, and then put it right back on this holder so that your pets will have fresh water. Change the water every day, leave some airspace in there so that it will have a vacuum and it will not leak out into that uh, little tee that it goes on. We're going to remove the top here for a second just so we can put the other parts in it. Showing in space, look at the grooves on the back there. This is the exact same form factor that's found in other Habit Trail whether it's the um, dwarf hamster habitat or whether it's uh, the other habit trail pod shaped pieces they're all the same so their parts all integrate and interchange easily so there it is couldn't be simpler and of course you're going to put bedding in here and it does hold the bedding pretty deep it's nice the edges are all rounded None of our hamsters chew these, so I don't know if it has to do with the Habit Trail design, but our hamsters are content to chew the things they're supposed to chew, and they're making zero progress in trying to get out of these. Again, you want to make sure that this uh, connection ring is turned securely, because it is the only thing that's holding on this exercise wheel. That white component there does not rest on the ground. 
So what that's there for is to catch debris if it flings out of the exercise wheel while your hamster or your mouse is exercising in it. Then we put the water bottle on, turn the connection ring, lock it up, and guess what? The whole thing is finished. It's all together. That is all there is to it. So it's very simple as far as habit trail setups go. It has no, um, you know, arch and stuff, but again, all of these connections are interchangeable. You can hook this up to your system. Uh, if you have the habit trail crystal, if you have other components by habit trail, they will all interchange and connect equally. So it's a pretty nice unit. And, uh, I hope this uh, tutorial helps you out and seeing what it's made of, how it looks and uh, how the parts go together. Keep it locked up if you want to keep your hamsters in there. This is how it is in our Habit Trail Village right now, and if you notice, it looks the same as the other pods that come from Habit Trail in the OVO series. Thanks for watching as always.